Okay, so Ontario Labour Minister Monty McNaughton is holding a news conference at Queen's Park this morning. We're going to take you there live and listen in. Working for Workers Acts uh, in 2021 and 2022. These acts have since helped millions of workers across Ontario by requiring businesses allow truck drivers to use washrooms while making deliveries, by mandating life-saving naloxone kits in workplaces, by requiring employers give their workers the right to disconnect and put away their phones at the end of each workday, by protecting employee privacy, by requiring employers tell them when they are monitoring their devices electronically, and many other changes that are leading the way in Canada and across North America. Later today, we'll build on those groundbreaking actions by introducing our third Working for Workers Act. This act includes new job protection, so our brave military reservists can have peace of mind while recovering from physical or mental injuries. More washrooms and cleaner washrooms, including some just for women, for construction workers who are building projects we need. Enhancements to termination pay, so that those who work remotely get the same protections as those in office. Easier access to compensation and supports for our firefighters, who get pancreatic or thyroid cancer from putting their lives on the line to protect all of us. And improvements to our employment services to help more people, especially those on social assistance, get the hand up to a good job they can be proud of. All of these changes have one goal in mind, to put our workers first. Because an economy that doesn't work for workers doesn't work at all. The changes we've made and those that are part of this bill are common sense and long overdue. Far too often, those who put in an honest shift, who would give the shirt off their back to help their neighbour, and who save every day to build a better life for their family, have been forgotten by previous governments of all stripes. But our government sees you and we're making changes to help you. One group of workers who are often forgotten are migrant workers who all of us rely on for crucial jobs like growing the food that feeds our families. While most employers care about their workers, some continue to take advantage of them, including illegally holding their passports and work permits. This obviously leaves workers vulnerable. Recently, I met with Loli and Giovanna from the FCJ Refugee Organization, who spoke to me about the work they do to support migrant workers and ensuring that they know their rights because no matter your immigration status here in Ontario, you have rights. Stories like what I heard from them is why our government is proposing the highest maximum fines in Canada for employers and recruiters who are convicted of taking or retaining a foreign national's passport or work permit. Individuals convicted of taking or retaining a foreign national's passport or work permit will be liable to a fine of up to $500,000 or up to 12 months in jail or both. And corporations will be liable to a fine of up to $1 million. Furthermore, offenders could face additional penalties, up to $200,000 for every worker whose rights are violated, quickly adding up to millions of dollars more in fines. We won't tolerate exploiting or trafficking workers. This builds on our ministry's anti-trafficking division we launched 18 months ago to fight labour trafficking. My message to those scumbags out there abusing migrant workers is this. You can run, but you can't hide. We will find you, fine you, and put you behind bars. Labour trafficking has no place here in Ontario. Health and safety should never be a cost of doing business. Every worker must come home safe to their loved ones at the end of their shift. And while we know most businesses follow the rules, our government is holding companies who are responsible for injuries or death responsible. That is why we are also increasing the maximum fine for corporations convicted of an offence under the Occupational Health and Safety Act from $1.5 million to $2 million, the highest in Canada. We will continue to use every tool in our toolbox to ensure Ontario is a province where hard work pays off and big dreams come true. Together, working together, we can build a stronger province that leaves no one behind. 
we are working for you. Thank you, and we'd be happy to uh, take any questions. Do you have a timeline on portable benefits? Like, is this in the legislation? Is it maybe in the budget? I. Uh, Great, great question. I'm really excited about uh, portable benefits that we are going to move forward with. Um, uh, I've said, uh, you know, in the past that millions of workers deserve to have health care and, and dental uh, coverage, and millions of workers in Ontario don't have those benefits today. But under the leadership of Premier Ford, we will move forward with portable benefits for those workers. Uh, the timeline is uh, in the summer. Uh, we'll have a report back to us, uh, a blueprint on how to bring in portable benefits to millions of workers that don't have them today. Um, we're the only place uh, in North America uh, that will have a portable benefits. I really see this as not only helping those workers in Ontario with no benefits today, but also it will be a recruitment and retention uh, strategy to help keep these workers and attract the best workers to Ontario. So summer will be the next step. So summer, summer is when you're getting that final report from the task force yeah. and then timelines are then, I guess, basically. Yeah, I mean, we want to move forward as quickly as possible okay. with this. On uh, the migrant uh, workers sort of protections front, we know that migrant workers are often afraid to report things. Uh, what tools or mechanisms are you going to be using to find out about these cases of these bad actors? Well, great question, and, and you're right. I mean, migrant workers are uh, afraid. That's why uh, every possible chance I get, I tell uh, migrant workers that they're protected under the labour laws uh, here in Ontario. Please uh, come forward if um, there's injustices out there. Um, we hired uh, more than 100 new health and safety inspectors. We have more inspectors today uh, on the ground every single day uh, inspecting uh, workplaces. Furthermore, as I said, we launched 18 months ago a anti-labour trafficking division of the Ministry of Labour. All they do, this entire division, is to go out and uh, investigate uh, complaints or do proactive investigations. So we're continuing to do proactive investigations also um, if there are concerns raised through our Health and Safety Action Centre and that number is 877-202-0008 and we encourage people to come forward. Do you, um, do you know how many instances of withholding passports those inspectors have found up to now? Well, I mean, look, it's... Um, it's, uh, we, we see it far too often in Ontario, recently in the York region, uh, thanks to our ministry working with uh, the regional police, uh, they did a bust uh, where 64 migrant workers uh, were being abused, uh, their passports and work permits were being held. If these fines uh, move forward, our legislation passes, in that circumstance it would be at least $6.4 million in fines, uh, hopefully, as I said, jail time for these culprits that are doing this. Uh, uh, injustice out there. Um, since we launched our anti-labor trafficking division 18 months ago, uh, there's now about 45 investigations uh, ongoing as we speak. Uh, we've recuperated uh, uh, lost wages for more than 3,000 uh, workers. So it is making a, a big difference, but this is a, a problem not only in Ontario but across the country. But again, you know, I said it uh, to those scumbags out there, we want them fined and we want them behind bars. Still on the migrant workers front, but also... Okay, Labour Minister Monty McNaughton speaking at a news conference this morning in which the Ontario government under proposed legislation will go after what he says are scumbag employers. They will face hefty fines for withholding workers' passports. Uh, quickly, under the new proposed labour laws, employers who withhold passports from vulnerable foreign workers could face fines of $100,000 to $200,000, up from the current fines of just $250 to $1,000. Uh, those convicted of withholding documents from various workers, fines could accumulate into the millions.